Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to some. Hope everybody is having a good day so far. Who all do we have in here today? Sitting here painting my nails before the show because kind of stained them yesterday. <clears throat> and so I don't want you to see the ugliness of the stains. It's one of the main reasons why I paint my nails because of the stains. Here I am messing them up because I'm moving around. Isn't that a crock whenever you paint your nails you find something to touch and you mess your nails up as soon as you paint them and you're like oh, I gotta do it all over again. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Janie. How are you folks a doing? Hi, Miss Jean. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, that's good. Good to hear. Got a gnat stuck under my glass plate. I'm trying to wait for him to crawl out. Happy, happy joy joys in the house. Sorry, I, you heard me just squeak. My voice is wanting to <coughs> wanting to come out on me. Wanting to go out, excuse me. It crawled out and it, it wanted to Give me a kiss because it landed on my face. <laughs> Ugh. So, we are going to be doing something kind of fun today. I learned this not too long ago. I don't see many people doing it, but I learned it off of YouTube, so I can't give credit to me because it wasn't my idea. I'm so glad to see you, Joy. I haven't seen you in a minute. Hope everything's okay. So today is a very, very special day. I don't get to celebrate it with him, but today is my son's 11th birthday. And I want to wish him the best happy birthday ever. I don't get to see him, but I just want to wish my son a very, very happy, happy, happy happy birthday. I can't sing right now because of my voice. It's Columbus Day too. Oh, it's a holiday. These mail won't run, I don't think. Will it run today? Because I got to send three packages out today. Well, sometime this week. So yes, today is my son's birthday, and he will be, he is 11 years old. So, happy birthday, Zachary, if you're watching, if you ever get to watch this show. Mama loves you very much. But, the show must go on. And, we are going on with the show. So, today we are going to be making some cute little broomsticks out of the most expensive items you can buy. A dollar roll of jute twine and some sticks out of your backyard. And then just a few embellishments here and there. Some jewels, some ribbon. Just little things to embellish your little broomsticks. Ain't that the most expensive craft that we can do today? Yeah. From what I've seen on the YouTube video, I cannot remember who I've seen do this, so I cannot I cannot say the name because I can't remember. Y'all know my memory. <laughs> it ain't very good. So, um, 
I'm going to embellish them a little bit. And we are also going to, they didn't do this, but we are going to glue them on some wooden, uh, some wooden pieces here. We have the super minis, and then we have your regular plain Jane clothespins. <clears throat> I don't think I have any medium sized ones. I need some medium sized ones. I don't know where to find them things. Yeah, I don't know what fine in. But you could also use other things, which I'm going to show you how to make those in due time. I've got some things sitting here to the side that y'all can't see. Shh. You can't see them. So don't ask. So, um... I just want to make a few announcements before we go down to our desk. Uh, remember, guys, we are doing the Christmas ornament uh, challenge. And what you have to do is you make the most creative uh, Christmas ornament and you send it to me. And me and James Lee will be judging the most creative and beautiful and a wonderful Christmas ornament Um. Christmas Eve because the challenge ends on December 23rd at midnight. So you have to have your ornament here at my house, at my address, on my doorstep, in my mailbox, whatever you whatever you want, by the 23rd of December at midnight. And we will take a look at all the beautiful ornaments that you sent. Each ornament is another another um, another entry into the uh, the challenge. So each entry that you that you send is an entry and another chance for you to win the challenge. And I'm going to have a beautiful prize uh, ready for you by that time, and it'll be sent out when I can get it out because you know holiday and all that goodness. It'll have to be after Christmas because um, of the holidays and the the mail system and all that. So. Um, I hope you guys had fun with this, and I would love for uh, as many people as possible to uh, enter into this challenge because it is a very, very creative, and it has a, uh, it gives you, t and, and this challenge, it's not, it's not very time constrained. You can do, you can, uh, you have a, a few months to uh, get your entry in, and you can uh, make as many as you want. And these ornaments will be going, going on either our crafty Christmas tree or our, um, or our big Christmas tree in the living room, and we will uh, we'll do a video on uh, on everybody's little uh, ornaments or big ornaments, however you send them, um, on our tree. So you will you will get to see your ornament when you when you send them in our video that we post. So um, I hope everybody has fun and is creative. As we are, we are creative jewels. So, jewels, be creative as much as you want. And each in each entry, it, each ornament is another entry into winning the grand prize. So, also, um, if you are not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and check your notifications to make sure that you're getting my notifications in uh, in your YouTube. Um, also, uh, check your notifications in the group if you're a part of either group, either the Jules or the Divas. I do post in both groups. That way you can see if you're not in one, you can see it in the other. Um, remember, guys, um, we do have another group. It's Divine Craft Divas. So if you're not part of that, please get in there and check us out. Um, we haven't done a live in a while, um, as a lot of things have been going on. Um, so we have to, we have to plan when we're going to do our next live. So, uh, also, we are going to be having an auction on the 30th of October, guys. It's almost there. It's almost time. So, save your pennies, your dollars, and your nickels, and your quarters, and get ready for our next auction. Don't know what channel it's going to be on because, um, as I said, 
in the beginning it was going to be on the divas so uh, please let me or let me figure out which channel it's going to be on if it's not on the divas it's going to be here so um just keep an eye out i will let you guys know uh, a little bit closer to time <clears throat> of the auction so please save your quarters pennies dimes nickels and dollars because it's going to be good because we're going to have a lot of halloween inspired um crafts along with other uh beautiful things so um i'm hoping that you guys will come join me on that day all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down to the desk. That way, um, uh, you all can see what we're doing, right? Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. Uh -oh. Just keep in mind, please watch the boobs. I don't mean to flash you guys because my camera is not set up very good anymore. Hey, Arlena! All right, guys. Now, what you're going to want to do is either find you a, like, a skewer that you put food on. You can cut it down to size of your broomstick or however long that you want your broomstick. You can get good old-fashioned toothpicks. You can even go out and go shopping in your backyard and find you a a twig. I found several. I've got several different kinds we can make sitting here. Get you some jute twine. One that you can take apart because we're going to be taking this apart. We're going to be taking this apart and cutting it and making the, the bristles for the broom with this. Uh, get you some uh, some ribbon, some embellishment uh, pieces to go on it. Um, clothes pins of any size that you would like. I've got the minis and I've got the standard size. I've got some bling that we can put on there. Small blings. I have some cool um, Halloween-ish type of uh, trim, ribbon, what have you, whatever you call it, I'm not sure. Um, I've got some Halloween washi tape. And I've got some other things sitting here that I'm not going to bring over here because my desk is going to get cluttered up if I keep bringing them over here. But just to give you an idea of what you would, uh, what you would need uh, to make these. Alright, now... Say you haven't already got your little your little twigs cut or your sticks cut. You call it Rick Rack? Yeah, that's what it is called. There's some Rick Rack on there, but yeah. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of, um, piece of this and we're going to cut it. We're actually going to cut it. Not too much because that's a perfect. That is perfect. Now we're going to move this over. Move all these pieces over here out of the way because that is very um, messy. I'm going to put this in the floor next to me. Now we are going to take your jute twine and you're going to take off a length. And we're going to cut it several times. I gotta go get some more jute twine. I'm about out. I use it a lot in my vintage journals. And the most tedious part, the tedious part, is taking this apart. To the side and we are going to start taking these strands apart because they are woven together and you will see that each strand 
that comes off the jute twine is woven together and you'll have all these little pieces here. So we're going to take these apart. And so, in the end, you'll have pieces that look like this. <clears throat> you'll have several of them. I wish I had more jute twine. I, I have a whole roll sitting somewhere, and I don't know where they are. You could probably use cotton, cotton strands to do this, but I learned this with the jute twine. But you can get jute twine for a buck at the Dollar General or the Dollar Tree. You can get it fairly cheap. Hi, Katrine. Oh, love you too, hon. I'm so sorry I've not been in many of your lives here lately. I've just been... Uh, chilling out and kind of spending time with James Lee, and he actually got on to me last night. He's like, "You've been, you've been, you've been slacking." And so we got in here last night and we did some jelly plate, and he wanted to jelly plate, and so I said, "That's a wonderful idea." And we we've, we've got some. I got a whole stack of jelly print uh, things for my spell book that I'm going to be using. I've got to print off some things uh, for that book, so I'm hoping to have it done by Halloween or the, by the time auction comes around. Um, that we all can purchase uh, the spell book. So, hopefully, it'll be done. All right, fly, go away, shoot fly, don't bother me. All right. Come on, come out of there. Wouldn't you know what the last one's a pain in the keister? Don't worry if it kind of frays on you. That's okay. All right, now we have our, basically our broom taken apart. This is going to be our broom. Now what you're going to do is you're going to measure off a... Oh, hold on. You're going to measure off a length that you want your broom, uh, your broom pieces to be. Um, and so you'll measure off or cut off a piece of that. Now, as I said, these are miniatures. You don't have to have a lot. You take the end of your uh, end where you're going to put your bristles, and you're going to put it in the center, and you're going to wrap around the little. I mean, you can make it as fluffy or as big as you want as as that. I'm going to have to pull some more apart. I might use that on the little one. And so we are going to wrap this around. To make our broom stick. And so, we're going to be cutting that. Now, now that you have your, your little broom together, you're going to take a piece of your jute that's... Uh, it's not been taken apart. It's a regular strand of jute. And you're going to wrap it around the base here. Around your strands. Let me trim that. That's too, too pokey. 
too pokey for me. I'm going to wrap it around. Now you're going to have two little ends here. You can either choose to put a dot of glue like I'm going to do to, to hold it down. Or you can use another type of glue. But in the end, you now have your, your witch's broom. Now, you're going to want to give it a haircut, right? You don't want to keep it all scraggly like that unless you like that look. So, let's give it a haircut. Like that. Make sure it's kind of tight around there. That's kind of loose, but I'll I'll be putting other stuff on there, which won't, which won't hurt it too bad. But we're also going to be gluing it to this little clothespin here anyhow, so... All right, all right. I ain't even strained that much. Yeah. All right, so we have our little miniature broomstick. Little witch's broom. Ain't that cute? The most expensive item to ma made. There you go. You got you a little miniature broomstick that you can make in your own home without having to go and buy those cute little things that you see in your craft stores. Right. Aw. Well. So now we are going to uh, prettify it. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to prettify it. So let's find us some bewitching things. So I am going to find some just real thin ribbon here. And we are going to wrap it around the broom. But you can decorate your broom any way you want to. This is how I'm doing mine. So let's see. We've got some other things that are sitting over here. So let's let's put some other stuff on here. Um, no. How about we bling this? We bling it out. Hmm? Let's see. We want to give it a a cool little look. Let's put it where we glued it down in the back. Let's put that there. Put this little rhinestone bling piece right there in the center. Let's see. Put one at the top here. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. the top. Yeah, we got that. Hmm. Do I have any black rhinestones in there or did I use them all? No, but I got a green. I got an emerald green one in there. 
couple of them. to place these cute little rhinestones here. Hi, Linda. Oh, hi, Ashley. So we have our cute little broom here. Now we're going to paint up. I'm just going to paint it a, a solid black for the, the clothespin. That's okay. I got one that will come out. Oh, that sucks. I'll wash mine. I don't like it, but it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, right? Yeah. And so we're going to put it on this clothespin here. And we're just going to paint it up black, nothing special. Something you can easily assist. And these would make cute little journal uh, inserts. Say you want to add something to it. You'll see these again. Um, I'm going to be making more. I just got to get some more jute twine. make cute little embellishments to go on a, a journal or a tag. Huh. Or just anything. Or just to send as a cute little embellishment in a, in a Happy Mail or something. That was my elbow, not me. It'd be kind of gross. Now they did not do this. They did not put it on a clothespin. It's kind of my idea. So I, I have another craft that we're going to do uh, with these, but uh, I kind of took a part of that and put it in this. So. I know it had been simpler to take this apart but I really didn't feel like taking it apart. take the heat gun and I'm going to blast this for a minute. Oh no. Have mercy. I pray for her, hon. I missed the spot, didn't I? Bigger and darn it. 
There we go. Quick, simple little hiccup. Get there. Next step is gluing this pretty girl down. Now, which side do we want to use? All right, now you want to take your glue and put it along the long part where you want to place it. Then place your broom like so and let her dry. Okay. And I'll show you how this works. I have not worked on my spell book yet, but I'm still getting things ready for it. But I'll pull it out and I'll show you as an example how this would work after this, after the glue sits on here. Now, to if you want your bristles on your broom stiffer, just add Mod Podge to it, brush it on there, and make it stiff, which will make which will will make your broom stiffer. Hey mama, be careful. I love you. Good luck at the doctors. Anyway, just uh, brush some Mod Podge in there and let it dry. And you'll have stiff broom bristles. All right. So, I'll take the cover off here for a sec. So, imagine this is a page in the book. You'll have you a cute little bookmark and a witch's broom to go with it. Aren't that cute? All in about 30 minutes. Actually, less than 30 minutes. What do y'all think? Would you want some made for you? And like I said, we're going to make an even miniature, even more miniature one here in just a minute. Put it on the, the little tiny clothespins. We're going to use a toothpick for that one. So we have that one. Now the next one we're going to be making is tiny. Tiny, tiny. We're going to use a toothpick. These are my crafting toothpicks. So you don't get these. I got some colorful ones and I've got some Hey, Mary! And so what we're going to do is we're going to use this. What we have left from what we cut off the, the big part. And we're going to do the same thing. With this as we did with the other one. Do we have any extras? No. Let's see, make sure that's in there. Now, take your toothpick, cut your tip off. That way it don't poke nobody. All right. Now, put the, put the, the broom part where you want it. 
take your piece that you want to tie around here, tie it around it, make sure that you have it on the broom handle, per se. One more time around. Yep, there we go. Now we're going to glue her down. I can get that where I want it without it moving on me. I'm going to dot it with a dot of glue. To dot it down because we're going to be putting that on the back side of the paper or paper clip. I do that. Me and Mary do that. She kept saying, uh, somebody kept saying paper clip. Or something and so you now have your next broomstick a miniature broomstick now let's give it a haircut make it look a little bit better let's trim that up because it looks a little wonky up there All right, now we're going to paint up this, we're going to paint the, the stem here. And we're going to mix a little brown and black, make it a dark brown. Won't take much just to drop. Make it like a real chocolatey dark brown. All right. Thank you, Karen. <clears throat> so we're just going to paint the the broom handle up with that paint we just mixed. I mean, you didn't. You only needed a drop, but I mixed just a little much. But that's okay. Yeah. Close that paint before I feel, feel it. I'm going to take the uh, take a little heat to it. cute little broomstick but she's not done we got to pretty it up so we're going to take just a little bit of this stuff here we're going to take it and wrap it around here take mine and wrap it around here. Wrap it around the bottom. So now we have this cute little broom here. Uh, the, t the, the broom is made out of a toothpick. Jute twine. Tore, uh, took apart, untwisted, and the the pieces should look like that. A little bit of glue, a clothespin, and some embellishments to go on the broom, and there you have it. You have your your broom. Now let's find a cute little jewel to put on here. And let's see, we have a real kind of a dark orange there, so that would work. going to use a little bead here. A dot of glue. And 
put the jingle on here. Now, let's take one of our little tiny clothespins, our miniature, which you can get at the Dollar Tree. Little tiny thing. And we're going to paint it up. We're just going to use that same paintbrush with the same paint on it to paint this. Not going to be the best paint job in the world because these are miniatures and we've got big hands. So it's not going to be perfect. that with some heat real quick. Oh. That's right. Elizabeth is in Florida. I'm going to hold it because it's going to run again. It's going to run for me. That's starting to burn my fingers. All right, now, now that we have that all painted, all right, now, and what we're going to do next is we are going to place our cute little broom on our clothespin. Dot this with a little bit of glue. A little bit. We're going to place the back on there. And there you have it. You have your cute little witch's broom embellishment with the clothespin. Now these would be great to put on tags. I can get it without it twisting on me. I don't think I waited for the glue to dry long enough. But these cute little things can go on your, on your tags for a cute little bewitching embellishment. Hi Dana. Dana Enid Ezo. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? Yep, it would Karen. You're very you're very much so correct. But yeah, I will be putting more of these together and I will be putting them in the auction so you guys can purchase, purchase some of these. They are so adorable. I'll be making the big ones and the minis. The mini and then the micro mini is what I'm going to call it. And I can make even smaller than, than this size, but it'll have to be on this clip. But. I'll have to experiment with that. But look at how cute that is. Now, if you wanted to uh, dress this one up even more, you can even put some, um, I have some cute little, looks like hay pieces right there on it. I 
like that. Or you can take you uh, some of the ribbon that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I don't know how much more they have, but you can dress it up in fall, uh, fall theme without it being Halloween. You can do a fall theme with some cute little uh, some leaves. Place it around the side here. Put it on there like that if you can see it. Place it on the band there where the jewel's at. Like that. Or wrap it around your broom. I mean, you, you doesn't necessarily have to be a witch broom. It can be a fall themed broom. So there you go, guys. Simple and easy. Quick 30 minute trick craft great for uh great for nieces nephews grandkids um things like that cute 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 little embellishments let's see let's see if i can make another one real quick I'll make a little one because I don't have a much that much twine left. Let me see if I can make a fall themed one. I should have grabbed some acorns out of my backyard. I can go grab some, but it's just it'd be a pill trying to find one a squirrels hadn't attacked. Oh, that one's all funky fine. All right, now for the ones who just entered or came in. I'm going to take another one and I'm going to cut it. could do this the easy way and roll it around your fingers a few times and then cut but I'm just doing it the hard way <laughs> doing it the really hard way the long and tedious hard way all right miss Karen Yeah, I was going to go to the, the post office today, but yeah. I'm glad I didn't. I would have been mad. Walked all the way down there, wheeling my cart all the way down there just to find out the post office had been closed. No, I would have been PO'd. All right, now let's take these apart. Like we did before. Like I said, this is the most tedious part. It's unwinding them, but it's in smaller strips, so it's not going to take as long, hopefully, anyway. So, is anybody working on anything while they're watching or listening? Oh, you're working on a skyline canvas because you got bored. What? You could be working on a Christmas ornament. Mm hmm. You could join our challenge and send a creative Christmas ornament.
now. Come on. Don't twist up on me. Untwist, please. Untwist. Uh, I want to make it a big one. If you're enjoying the stream and you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're not a part of our group, it's called Creative Jewels by Emily. Come check us out and hit that friend request. I'm pretty sure we'll get you in there if you're enjoying it. If you like it here, you're definitely going to like it in the group. We have all kinds of challenges and uh, lots of talented artists here. So if you're not a part of the group, Head over there and send us a request. We'll get you in here. It'll be a jewel too. All right. So now we have our broom bottom done. Now we're going to do the same thing we did here. I'm going to take a piece of that and take it again. I'm going to just stick that in the center. We're going to give that a haircut. Don't worry about it if that's too tall. We're going to give that a haircut. Shaving a haircut. How about that? We're going to wrap this around. We're going to tie that to the broom handle. Tack it with a dot of glue. I'm not burning my fingers this time. I'm going to place it down with my skewer here. Now I've got that. Let's give it a haircut now. Being too unruly. Let's give it a haircut. There we go. Uh oh. And our broom handle came out. That's not good. Now, to keep that from coming out, you can put a dot of glue on your, um, say, we're, say this is uh, a thing, you put a dot of glue right here, then you put your toothpick down, and then you roll the things on there. That'll keep your broom handle from coming out. But we're going to be gluing this down anyway. So, there we go. We've got our broom so far. Oh, Katrine's making a pumpkin pie and some soup. Ooh, that sounds good. I make a bomb biggity pecan pie. Uh huh. I've got a pecan tree in my backyard, and I can't wait till they come in season. Well, they're they're ripening up right now. They're ripening up right now, and so we'll be able to harvest them very soon. All right, so now we have our little broom here, our little harvest time broom. Now, we're wanting to pretty fry this up, so we're going to use some of this cute little leaf ribbon here, and we're going to put it here. We're going to put it around where that went around. 
I'm going to put a glue, dot of glue there. I'm going to put it here. And tack it down. That way it doesn't move. And we're going to do the same thing on, side, on the back. glue her in because that's going to go on the back anyhow. So. Alright, so now we have some cute little hay pieces here. We're going to glue this directly to the broom here. Hey, Margaret! Uh-oh, Kristen's keeping quiet. Do you know any Indians in here, Emily? Well, I'm an Indian. I'm, I'm part Cherokee and German. <laughs> You can see the German in me, though. And you can also see the Cherokee in me when I pull my hair up. You can see the slanty eyes. Right. Dang, Christian, are you an M-U-T-T? a little leaf and we're going to place that right there on the top where all that glue is, is congregating that way it hides all that Now we're going to clip the end there. Ugh. We are in the process of decorating our front yard for Halloween. Last year it was ghosts and graveyards. This year it's spiders. Spiders and graveyards. You should see it. It's kind of cool looking. James Lee was up in a tree, a 10 foot ladder up in our tree, putting spider webbing up in a tree. Oh my God, I scared half out of my mind. Ugh, always too much paint. Always, always, always. needed a dot that it always comes out in like a freaking avalanche so let's see where's my pen we are almost done with this I'm 
of these clothes pins are wonka fied. I gotta put them back together. Paint this up a little bit. Oh, is Vanessa in here? Oh, hey, Vanessa. I had my head down. I'm sorry, hon. <laughs> you guys know me. When my head's down, y'all y'all know I don't see you. I have to scroll back. My apologies. Ashley sneaks in here all the time. She says, sneak, sneaks in, sits down. Set that down. Put a little heat to it. Get that out of the way so I don't get messed up. Time to glue this pretty boy down, or girl, whatever you call it. And she will be finished. All right, this time we're going to let it sit long enough for that glue to sit. I'm not going to clip it to anything. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Cute little holiday fall embellishment. Like I said, to make the bristles on this a little stiffer, just add you some Mod Podge. little embellishments to go on your fall cards uh just anything fall on your tags Let's see where's that tag at cute little tag so we have three different types of embellishments we have the witch with the big pin. We have the fall. All kinds of minis. This is a mini, but this isn't the micro minis is what I'm going to call it. What do you guys think? You think you're gonna you could make one of these? I'm gonna make a few of these up to put in the auction, so you guys we have an op, uh, have an opportunity to purchase some of these. I know she she told me. I it I didn't know what to say. All all that I was sorry because I. Just recently lost Simba and it just hit home. It, it kind of hurt all over again. So, yeah, you can do this. It is really cute and it's simple. And you don't need very many items to do this. Let's see what? Put some battery on. 54%. Yeah, it's not charging. 
All right, ladies. I hope that you guys enjoyed the stream today. I've not been streaming as much, but I'm making cute little... I'm trying to come up with cute little things to make for you guys. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow. Um, I will be making something, some more cute things. Um, so, guys, make sure that you, you come back tomorrow at the same time. Uh, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time right here on this channel. All right, guys, I'm going to head on out of here. Um, if you're not a part of the group, please hit us up on Facebook, Creative Jewels by Emily. And if you're not a subscriber and you enjoyed the show today, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon. That way you get notified of each and every broadcast and live stream that I do for you guys. Um, also, I hopefully... Um, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming in and joining me today and crafting with me. Hopefully I inspired at least one of you guys to get out there and share your artwork. Teach something new to somebody else that doesn't have uh, uh, have the art skills. Teach them something new. So ladies and gentlemen, I love you all. Thank you guys for coming in and joining me today. I will see you guys on our next broadcast. So see you guys.